Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm bringing you not a makeup video or a vlog. I bring you a Lucky Pack unboxing. So I recently ordered one of Ocean in Space's um, small Lucky Packs. They go for 35 US dollars, even though she's from Toronto. I think her site is US based for some reason, I don't know. And I thought I would try my luck and pick one up. Um, Ocean in Space is an artist that I have been following since I was 14. So I'm 24 now. <laughs> so it's been 10 years of me like discovering her on DeviantArt and watching her grow and seeing her art like become something like great and wonderful to something truly amazing. And I thought I would support her as an artist because why not? I'm an artist too and I wanna see other artists flourish. <laughs> If you like this kind of video, make sure you give my video a thumbs up and remember to leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you like. It would mean the world to me. So without further ado, let's uh, open this beautiful pink Lucky Pack. I've got to be honest, guys. I opened this um, before I filmed the video because I just could not hold back. I just had to see what I got. So the small Lucky Packs, um, they you either get a tank top or a t-shirt and then a bunch of other like smaller items that she makes like stickers, enamel pins, tiny like makeup bags or whatever. Oh, I, to, okay, last night I had like, this is so stupid, but <laughs> I had a dream that I got the Lucky Bag in the mail and when I took it out, the, I got a t-shirt with like a crayon drawing of a Pikachu that was just super ugly. like not actual stuff that Ocean and Space would actually do. Like it was, I was so disappointed. I'm like, what is this? This is so ugly. <laughs> and then I woke up and I'm like, oh, thank God it was just a dream. Like I didn't actually get my lucky pack in the mail yet. And then I fell back asleep and I woke, I had another dream that, you know, I got my lucky pack. Oh my God, I, I guess I just was like super excited about this. And um, when I took out the garment that the lucky pack comes with, it was like, a sweater, but there was no art on it. There was just this tiny little patch, like a circle with like, I don't even remember what it was, but I was so disappointed because it was like just a little patch on the on the top. And I don't know if it was a bad omen. I am not dissing Ocean Spaces art. I love her stuff, but I feel like this pack was pretty unlucky because I got the one design that I didn't really want. <laughs> so the big item, is um in in this pack is a t-shirt or a tank top and i got a tank top which is fine there's nothing wrong with that but i got the dana lakshmi one and this was the only one i didn't want <laughs> i would have been okay with any of her other designs like this piece i remember like uh, her posting her process some um, pictures and stuff on facebook and whatever and this piece is super detailed. Like look at all the jewels on her headpiece and all the colors and the like the coloring of this necklace alone would have taken forever. Like it's honestly a super, super detailed piece and it's artistically really well done. Like I love her style, but I didn't want the Indian goddess of wealth. <laughs> I would have been okay with the vaporwave tea, the fight me tea or like any of the others. But you know what? I'm even though I'm a little butt hurt, I'll probably still wear it. If not, if anyone wants to trade what they got, or if anyone wants to trade another Ocean Space piece with me, just hit me up, because <laughs> I'd totally be willing to. Um, I tried it on, it's a medium. It fits really well. If no one wants to trade with me, then I'll probably just wear it to the gym. It is still beautiful. It's definitely not the design I wanted, but yeah, <laughs> I'm a little butt hurt, but Oh, I still like it, I guess. <laughs> okay, so the Lucky Pack that came with a number of other items. And this item I actually really like, and I might take this to um, California and Mexico with me because I'm going on a little trip fairly soon. Um, this is like a fruits and a little cute girl in pink um, like pencil case or makeup bag. This is so cute. I honestly really like this. I think this goes for like 15 US on the site alone and the tank top goes for 35 US so you've already kind of made your money back. Um, but I did have to pay in Canadian and our dollar isn't doing so great right now. <laughs> and the shipping was expensive as well but let's just, let's just water under the bridge, it's fine. This pack is fairly well made. It's actually a, 
And I really like the design. Like I love the fruits. I love her little outfit. I love Ocean Space's art. It's so good. Um, it's black on the inside and it's got purple and white stripes running down it with the, you know, the little design and a pink zipper. Nice attention to detail. And inside you can actually open another smaller compartment where you can put other things. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's like another smaller bag in there that you can zip up. There's the zipper right there. It's probably too small for the amount of makeup I would take traveling with me. <laughs> but I, I might give myself a challenge. If I don't use this, I'll probably use the uh, milk makeup bag that uh, I got in one of my hauls, which I will link right there because I really like using this card feature. <laughs> Go watch my Sephora haul, it's fun. <laughs> so aside from those two items, I also got this really pretty like kiwi fruit bookmark. It's kind of like glittery looking, like the finish has like, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it like glistens. It's not just glossy, it's got sparkle to it. And it um, that's the front, the back is the same girl, but it's not colored. Um, I don't read as much as I used to. When I was younger, I would read like crazy. I would read like two books a day or one fat book a day. And like, that's why my vision is so bad. I wear contacts and if I didn't wear contacts or glasses, I'd be walking into walls. I really, really like this piece. I remember watching her make these two. I'm such a stalker. Um, and it came, I think in a set of three, but I really liked all three designs. And I really like this Kiwi girl. It's so cute. It's got fruits, it's got little grape earrings, and I think that's a cherry or an apple. Um, and there's like a little waffle piece there, and she has green hair, and she's freaking adorbs. Very, very cute. If I don't use it as a, a bookmark, I might just put it on my wall, because it's beautiful. <laughs> and then I got this cute little like angst, angsty, like a redhead in a bear outfit with wings like this is such a cute little keychain I think I'm gonna hang it on my work bag um so the girl has got her angsty face she's got a little black and pink bow on um she's wearing a hoodie and she's got wings and the back is just plain which is fine but this is a huge charm I'm doing my own artist alley table um in July of 2018 and I'm thinking I will sell prints and buttons and acrylic charms look so cool. When I go to conventions, I sometimes pick up acrylic charms too. Like I picked up a, uh, a My Hero Academia Todoroki charm from somebody <laughs> at, uh, what, an what, it was Anime Evolution of 2017. And I think these would sell really well. Anyway, I keep, just keep going on tangents, but this thing is probably like three to four inches tall. It's a big, big, big pin, or not pin, big um, keychain. So there's this little girl. And then it came with this very cute Ocean and Space sticker. I think she is drawing herself or maybe her like a strawberry mascot, but it's like a little redhead um, strawberry astronaut sitting on, is that the moon? I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but it's so cute. I might just put it on like, um, I don't know, a notebook of mine, a planner of mine, something like that. It's really, really cute. I love her chibis. And there's still so much detail in it, even though it's such a tiny little sticker. I really like that. And then, <laughs> this is something I really like too. This is like a drooling egg enamel pin. I don't collect enamel pins, but I'm really scared that once I start collecting them, I won't be able to stop. Let's take it out of the plastic. So there's this little guy. I'll probably put him on my work bag just because he's so freaking cute. Um, no complaints about this. This is adorable. And lastly, I think I just got her business card, which is still like beautiful. I think she has this girl on another makeup bag of hers. I might be wrong, but she's very cute. It's like a little girl with bunny ears holding a heart telephone. Super adorbs. And there's her contact info if you are interested in picking up some of her artwork. Ocean and Space has been inspiring me to better myself as an artist ever since I was like that 14 year old teenager that just wanted to draw all day, every day. And um, I think if you like her stuff, you should go support her. I'm gonna link her uh, website down below. I think the Lucky Bags are sold out now, but she still has a ton of really, really cool designs. And she came out with like a uh, monochrome design recently where everything's black and white. So if color's not your thing, you also have like black and white options to choose from. Anyway, thanks for watching this different kind of video. If you like these kind of videos, just tell me, you know? I might, even though this is mostly a makeup channel, 
I do have other aspects of my life that I want to share with you guys. So yeah, that's how I have to say today. And I'm wearing scrubs because I'm going to work later. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>